Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to a uh, Broke Continuum. Yeah, we've 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 spoken to you. You you give me nice plot points that we've seen before. So one thing I do do wish this game had was a uh, ran random generation as far as like the first couple levels go, just so it's like you're landing on this planet, then that planet, and stuff like that. Oh, well. this is quite the warm welcome. Holy crap! Not used to this many enemies right off the bat. Let's switch to shield recharge. Uh, let's see. Do I overclock my computer? Nope. I've never really saw, uh, seen much of a need to. Uh, I play mostly like low, low demand indie games, and I'm also running a 970, which I think baseline is overclocked a little bit, but uh, not much. So it's kind of one of those where it's like the idea of ro uh, overclocking my PC seems silly. If, like, this thing gets, like, old, maybe, but right now I can play almost every single game ever on Ultra. The only the only examples of games that I can't are, like, um, I can't play, say, you know, Batman Arkham, Arkham Knight on Ultra because that game runs, like, shit on all systems. But I think the new patch did fix some of the problems. It didn't fix enough of them, from what I know, which is a darn shame, but whatever. Glad I went with shields. Also, right, the uh, increasing my dexterity has made kind of a massive difference in this because my my gun spools up real real fast if I switch back to um boosted recharge speed. Blah, yellow, stay with me, stay with me. Um, but if I just keep it on shields, it actually boosts up fast enough on its own, which is actually a really nice feeling. Also, I just realized those gloves are a um. A 5% boost, so actually getting like 4 pairs of gloves is only a 20% damage bonus. Go figure I don't do much damage by late game, but I, get, I guess most enemies don't get that much health either. So, it's not a... It's not an unreasonable thing to expect that, you know, the enemies don't scale much in terms of, you know, health. And I don't scale that much in terms of damage. Seems like a fair trade-off. Uh, I hope I can get the Flame Aura soon. So, oh, there's a car there. I could probably use my... Did I get the money? I can't I can't tell. It's hiding. Uh, I could use my Missile Swarm if I really wanted to. It seems unnecessary, though. Can't wait to be able to play this game multiplayer. Currently, can only play it, can only play it single player. And it always, that always, I don't know, feels a little bit unfortunate. How, do the up, how does the upgrading system work? Uh, it's, it's Dungeon Souls style, Risk of Rain style, you just, you find them in canisters. Uh, so, you know, there's damage upgrades, there's speed upgrades, there's health upgrades, there's weapon upgrades. It's a little bit bare bones right now, you know, pretty much just the basics. Uh, Spread Shot is awesome, Piercing Shot is pretty good. Uh, the Flame War is amazing. Um, but, you know, apart from that, you're not, you're not getting a whole lot of, like, really cool, weird, and quirky upgrades along the way. But I would actually like to see more strange upgrades along um, as well, such as like uh, ricochet shots would be really cool. Homing homing shots would be really fun, especially with like Olga. Mm, homing Olga that would actually offset a lot of problems with her if you didn't have to aim, just kind of shoot in the general direction of people and hope for the best. But yeah, so I've gotten a lot of um, I've gotten a lot of upgrades specifically for. Oh right, I've got the new laser burst. I should use it. I've got a lot of upgrades in relation to my damage right now. I think I do 15% more damage, which ain't, which ain't great. But I've also got some speed. Okay, that laser upgrade is totally not worth putting points points into. I'm glad I didn't. It's good for clearing, like, the little guys, but upgrading the missile barrage did crazy damage. So that seemed like a good idea. Let's switch to weapons recharge. This guy doesn't even do that much damage anyway. We might actually be able to run this gun forever after a certain point. That'd be handy. Reflecting shields. Reflecting shields might be a little bit ridiculous, considering this character is always shield. Oh, do all characters have shields? No. Only only the mech has shields. Which feels a little bit cheap, honestly, but he's also comically slow, so it's it's a trade-off, but after a certain point, after a certain number of upgrades, it becomes less of a trade-off and more of a, a crippling lack on everybody else's part. I wish uh, I wish shields were like an actual module that you could pick up along the way. Hey, speaking of uh, modules, that lets me upgrade my weapons. That's it again. This game does also feature a, I'm not going to call it like a, a rogue legacy style 
passive upgrade system outside the game. I, I guess it's closest to Dungeon Souls yet again. Yeah, I would actually say this game's kind of like a um, a less item diverse, more sort of character diverse. I don't know. It's an it's an interesting uh, alternate version, more or less, of what Dungeon Souls does, and it does it well. I and it's early access, so obviously they're going to be adding more. I would I would love to see more. Okay, greetings, you're the shopkeeper. We've already seen this. So we're obviously not doing Rage Inducer. That thing's like the worst. I think I'm going to go with a Fire Starter. I'd love to go with Dragon, but I never have the cash. But yeah, this way, this way, uh, the little guys that come after me get torched. And I don't have to worry about chasing them. Because yeah, we're chance chances are we're not going to get any more money than this. Should I use the Rocket Launcher at some point? Maybe I should. Why don't I actually use the rocket launcher? I almost never do. Oh, right, that's because I haven't upgraded it yet. It does do extra damage, though. Ah, right. It does garbage damage, single target. Alright, back to the minigun, which is just going to melt this guy's face. Especially with the missile barrage, which does a lot of damage. Oh, this is easy. I was there. I guess I can use the laser burst on him. It really doesn't actually do that much damage. Okay, let's just run away for a second. Luckily, we have really substantial knockback with our attacks. Oh, dude, I, I set him on fire. That's a good feeling. What if there's an item that made it... Uh, so, some of your shots... Uh, some shots against your shields would reflect. You know, that'd actually be really cool. I would like that. Honestly, they can do so much with this game to make it, you know, crazy. And I really hope they do kind of go, like, full hog on it. Uh, there... I like the spread shot, but I wish spread shot increased the number of, like, shots by one. Every sin single time you got it. You know, um, Cavern King style. And you could just keep stacking it over and over and over again. That would be glorious. It doesn't do it, but... Be, would be really fun. I don't know. I, I'm looking forward to later patches and, you know, covering... Covering exactly what they do with this game. Just like Dungeon Souls. Yeah, I, I would actually say um, this game and Dungeon Souls kind of fit the same niche of, like, constantly updated roguelikes with, like, cool things. Generally feature complete, but just needing more more content, more equipment to make it exciting. You ain't getting through my shields. Unfortunately, I'm slow as butts. I might not be able to take your missiles at. Nope, we're good. Okay, beautiful. I like the cars with the uh, the car alarms. It's like, yep, this happened. I'm glad I put all of those points into uh, into gun recharge. Because, yeah, upgrading my passive damage would be nice, but firing my guns forever. Now that's convenient. What does spread shot do? It, uh, it, it triples the amount of shots you put out, but it uh, reduces your damage by 25%. Which really isn't that bad. Because, let's be honest here, I would much rather have, you know, sextuple shot instead of double shot and more damage. Of course, you know, if it was like a major detractor of damage, sure, why not? Let's let's count that against it, but... Okay, let's see what we got down here. But yeah, unfortunately, you can only get one copy of triple shot, so it's not... Not great. Not the end of the world. But it would be way more fun if you could have, like, octuple shot or deca shot or something like that. Nana shot? No, Nona? Nona shot? Nine? Uh, I guess you wouldn't have that. You'd, be, you'd have octuple deca... I don't know what the, uh, the word is for 12. You know, you got double, quad... Triple pent pent I mean penta shot is a thing, but penta shot is a completely separate thing. Guess let's go shopping. I don't know. I I'm not great with my. Is that even? I I guess it's supposed to be Latin. Do I have enough money? I don't even have close to enough money. I actually can't buy any of these things, except for the health up, which is meaningless. Let's see if I can somehow make a lot of money in the next couple of minutes, because I would like to pick up dragon at some point. It is good, but it's probably not going to happen. Laser droid. I like it. Dodeca. Yep. No. No. Dodeca is 20. 
Because Dodeca is double, double Deca, I believe. I could be wrong about that one. No, you might be right. Dodeca, two, two plus ten. I really don't know. I, I really need to work on my, my Latin. I, I think it's Latin. Because I, I was never, I was, I never took it. Never bothered. And never continue with that sort of thing. We need military boots here. So we can actually shoot and move fast. Unfortunately, I do feel like there's a bit of a item... I'm not going to say an item pool, but an item preference per run. So it's like, you're going to get a lot of boots this time around. But maybe that's just me. I am looking forward to more items being out so you don't get, like, 12 of the same thing, though. So it's just, like, you know, weird balance and stuff like that. I do like the shop system in this game, though. It, it's very, um... It's actually kind of a unique entity. I guess none of the other... N none of the other roguelikes I play... Eh, I guess Cavern, Cavern Kings. Okay, Dodeca is 12. Well, never mind. So you might as well just call 20 a score. Let's see, do we have 216? That's not enough cash. Do we have anywhere, any other capsules? Probably not. I don't think we've missed anything. Oh, we have just a little bit. I don't think there's going to be enough cash, though. The cars usually have on the mount, but it's not enough for us to get anything cool. Oh, it is. It is. It is. We're going back. There's something I can buy. And that is going to make a world of difference here. I want to get Dragon for the extra uh, attack speed, but no dice. Instead, we get Spread Shot. Spread Shot. Which is, I mean, probably the best upgrade in the game. I would like to try Dragon, though. Dragon plus Spread Shot is probably the most absurd thing in the universe. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a canister. Ah, nuts. There's an upgrade canister there. Missed it completely. Not the end of the world, but still a darn shame, as far as I'm concerned. Let's see, welcome to Varda, whatever. Eh. Beer. There we go. Perfect. What is my favorite favorite flavor of milk? Uh, probably two percent. I don't know. That's kind of a weird. Weird question to ask, but like I like chocolate milk, but it's such a crapshoot getting good chocolate milk that I generally don't consider it. Whoa, this is this is a different type of level. I'm not used to. Oh, we should probably switch to shields for the time being. These guys are brutal, though. I've upgraded my damage pretty substantially here. Cause I think I saw the like weird bat creatures. Yeah, they're the they're the weird fly shooty bat things. So we might actually have a different boss in here. That's nice. I do I do like the fact that this level is. Slightly randomly generated, though I do, do wish it was a little bit better. Are my pants buckled? No. But no, I, I don't like I don't like whole milk. I I like whole milk, but as a treat more than a. Oh, I'm stuck in the crystals, of course. As a treat more than like an actual drink, just because too much whole milk just makes me feel weird and bloated. Uh, and skim just I don't know skim skim just feels limited. I can almost have this thing on complete. Uh, just full auto, never stopping. And that's on shield mode, too. So a couple more dexterity upgrades, which I guess you guys watching stream-wise haven't even seen the, uh, haven't seen the, like, out-of-run upgrade system yet. But uh, if I can get a couple more points in de dexterity, we're going to be an unholy shooty monster that never stops on, you know, shield recharge mode, no, no less. That's a good feeling. Those bats don't display a health marker. Just the bigger guys. Weird. I wonder why. Should probably stay away from him. They do quite a lot of damage. Yeah, wow, my shields were tanking it pretty hard. I, You know what? I bet if you're in melee range with these guys, it hurts harder. That makes the most amount of sense. This is probably not likely. Oh, well. No. Keep the shields up. This would be so much... Oh, Jeez, I'm taking I'm taking damage. We're gonna back up and go get my other stuff. Okay. The sound from the monster's death sounds exactly like deaths from uh, the zombies from Terraria. Huh. That's an interesting point. <laughs> Wonder if they got it from a similar sound designer. I don't know. Ooh, shop. Though I barely have any money. I haven't done a whole lot of shopping here because it really depends on what kind of. Uh, Enemies were coming across here, or what? What kind of things are actually in the shop? Did I trigger this? This one fly? Maybe I have to stand in it for a short period of time. There we go. 
I wish you just had to get like tangentially near and it's like, okay, now, you, now you've, now you've summoned the shot. Oh, well. Keep your distance, keep shooting. So what do we get here? Med kit. Uh, attack orb. Uh, let's get another attack orb. Let's get a bunch of them. Let's just, let's just be a bastion of gun. If I don't have anything else. I'd like to increase my flame aura if I can get the cash. But this works for now. I'm also noticing we're not getting uh, invaded by groups of enemies anymore. That must be that must be in one of the variations of the fire planet. I wonder I wonder why they have so many variations on the fire planet, but not on the um, you know these caves, but not on the first level. I guess it kind of makes sense. Even in Binding of Isaac, you get the most amount of variation later on in the game. So we got 40. Getting nano Kevlar is probably a good idea. Well, so we got it around here. More boots. But I still really need military boots, and they are not showing up. Okay, and we got somebody unfriendly over there. Uh, let's wipe him off the map first. They do a lot of damage, despite my armor. But I, I do think Nano Kevlar absolutely makes a difference. Really, we're already at the end. Nano Kevlar really makes a difference as far as, like, reducing damage to my shields as well as to, uh, you know, me physically. Once you strip off the armor, or th the shielding. Let me guess, more gun? Yep, more gun. I don't really need all these gun boxes, but... Eh. Okay. Now let's save our cash. Yeah, the thing is, the, uh, the, the level with the infinitely spawning enemies, way... Way more effective at giving, getting me, like, crazy cash. Okay, detecting several abandoned defense turrets, which is meaningless for me. Okay, so it's the weird purple shooty snake creatures. And ants. Okay, so we're going to be fighting the ant boss at the end of this. Does Spreadshot affect my missiles? Nope. I'd say I wish it did, but that would make the missile swarm just ungodly powerful. Like, unfair. How powerful it is. Those are only worth two each. That's a shame. One other thing I think this game could use would be, like, secret areas or secret levels. Actually, you know what? That would be really cool if this game had almost like a, a Star Fox-style map that you could travel through, and depending on how you complete your objectives and stuff, you get to go to different planets. Uh, I, I think that would alleviate the, the most amount of, like, variation, but still have an element of personal choice. This is too many. This is why I'm on full shields, though. Am I? I'm not. Let's switch on to full shield sh recharge. I'm not going to be able to hit him from there. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Is this Rampage Knights? Nope, it's not. This is uh, Rogue Continuum, which I don't believe is listed on Twitch. Oh, shoot. Was that was that telling me enemies were spawning? I think it was. Okay, now we're taking hits. So after a certain point below our shield threshold, we actually start taking damage from these things. Good to know. Luckily, I do so much damage, I can just knock enemies away from me semi-permanently. Cool. Title is wrong. I mean... You say the title is wrong. I, I, I do hate this about, about Twitch, that I can't list whatever I want. It has to be in their database. Uh, how do you switch your, your uh, recharge thing? R. Um, but... I, I know, I know, like, a lot of you are trying to be helpful, but whenever any of you guys, like, show up and it's like, your title is wrong, you're playing the wrong game, I just, inwardly, I'm, I'm screaming just a little bit, because it's like, I know, I know, I've been doing this for months, and I would, I would totally change, change it if I could. Enemy surgeon coming. But I can't. I am, I am locked in to Twitch's silly system of not being able to list whatever you want. Just list it. If, if it, if it's not... If it's not, um, you know, if it's if it's not currently having any players, then don't have it show up in the search results. Period. Or just say, you know, zero channel streaming, so people can just put in whatever whatever keywords they want and just have it be like tag based. So if everybody's playing League of Legends, they show up under one tag and have it show up. Obviously, I don't know. This is a massive level for one that we've already found the exit for, which is kind of nuts in a way. Hey, it works for me. I can farm my money here because we are surrounded in these guys. You know what? Missile swarm time. Laser time. Okay. 
These guys are a bit of a nuisance. Let's switch to gun recharge. I believe if I've got it on gun recharge mode, I do still run out slowly. But still. Let's go back to shield recharge these. I really could use some military boots here, game. You wanna wanna give me some so I can I can move and shoot at the same time instead of just clunking along like a well I guess I'm a s slow ass robot. So it's fair. Where are those boxes with money? Uh those are those are uh turrets that I can repair and just have sitting around shooting with me. Unfortunately there's no real point to doing so. Because I am more than sufficient for this. Uh, between, you know, my my natural firepower. Oh, God. Between my natural firepower and whatnot. Okay, let's switch back to shields. Between my natural firepower... ...and whatnot, I'm generally... Uh, not in need of extra. There's a lot of little bugs. Luckily they burn quick. Oh, I'm sitting right in the middle of crystals. I really hate the crystals in this map. They totally should break. Why do they not break? I do not know. But we've got the Bernie Aura, so these guys don't have to... These guys don't hit me. Which is good. But yeah, there's just yellow crystals all over the place. And it's like, oh, you want to shoot? Well, uh, no. These are your light fixtures. They're also your... Your smallest, their your biggest enemy as far as like wiping the map of anything and everything. Is there even a reason to have come up here? Not really. I guess money, money and kills. What do we get from this one? More power gloves. Hey, I can't complain. I can't complain about extra damage. How many of them do we even have? Thirty percent extra damage. It's okay. What is that? So if I do, if I do forty damage regularly, I think. That amounts to 40, 30% of 40. It's, a, it's about a 10% damage bonus, 13. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible either. Okay, perfect. So you're telling me to switch recharge modes. The thing is, I keep it mostly on shields, just because you never know you never know when one of these guys is going to start shooting at you. And it makes the little bugs unable to kill me. Because between my drones, like, I can just sit, sit here. They can't kill them. They can't even touch me. Which is actually kind of hilarious. I guess maybe if they, maybe if they swarm me. Okay. You know what? I'm just, I'm just not even going to respond to people that tell me I'm playing the wrong game anymore. It's, it's meaningless for me to do so. Okay, we get the shop finder. Come on, dragon. No dragon. Nuts. I mean, we could pick up second chance. Well, we're going to pick up laser drown, fire starter, liquid nitro, speed boots. Do I still have enough? The answer is no. So I don't have to worry about it. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Weird level. Oh, what are the different recharge modes? There's balanced power, max weapons recharge, and, and max shield recharge. Um, balance is obvious. I mean, it should be pretty obvious what all of them do. Let's see, anything special here? Nope, we're leaving anyway. Who cares? What game is this? Rogue Continuum. I guess that is a good point. Let's still, okay, this guy's gonna be, oh shoot, let's switch back to shields. I do not like these big, big fat worm things. Especially because we don't have explodey rounds yet. Let's see, okay. But, uh, chat, can you guys tell people, like, whenever I'm playing a game that's not listed on Twitch, you know what the game name is? Please just tell me, people, so I don't have to repeat. What game is this? Rogue Continuum. What game is this? Rogue Continuum. So that, that, it truly drives me nuts. Because I have to say it every couple of minutes. To everyone. I guess it's also one of those where people could just be patient. You'll find out eventually. Okay, this is a bit messy. That's what all the missiles are for. I'm floored that I didn't actually take any damage from that. My shields were out. Thank you, drones, for making my... Oh, crap. Well, we're still okay. Yeah, the the multiple drones are making my life easier. Un unfortunately for me, I don't have the raw firepower or defense to truly, like, just hang back and 
deal with this. Pretty much have to wait wait for a missile barrage. Okay, there were there were taking some damage here. Am I on? I am on shields. It just really doesn't. These guys so long range. It just takes forever to recharge. Okay, this is a good time for missile barraging, and then lasers. Even though the lasers don't really kill things as well as I hope they, hope they would. Okay, let's switch to weapons on this one. If my shields are okay, I might as well stay in uh, weapon recharge mode so I can shoot almost constantly. But let's go shopping. Thank you, drones, for making my life just so much easier. Yeah, I guess I guess this is actually substantially easier. Best offense is good defense. Unfortunately, the goddamn crystals are in the way all the time. Don't like that. Not one bit. Did we kill the guy up here? We did. All right. Surprise, surprise. I didn't see it coming. Oh, that's what that's what they're done with. We've got a lot of enemies here. I'm not really paying attention to this. Haven't I? No, I haven't been here. I was running parallel to this. That's why it's that's why it's explored on the map and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. No, I I know people like to know what game it is, especially so they can you know pick it up and stuff like that. It's just one of those where it's like it makes terrible content. Uh, from, like, the YouTube perspective. If I was just, like, a purist streamer, it wouldn't be so bad. But it is... It's really obnoxious to hear myself just say... Saying, you know... Oh, ooh, shots explode, stop. Shots explode, and I don't have quite enough money for, uh, the extra damage. But we're close. Because this this will give me some much-needed AoE. On top of everything else. Okay. Ah, it's stretch your jaw out. Because my face is tired, I have been recording all day, and I will be recording all everywhere, all all the time. It is a long process. What do we got up here? Okay. Anybody? Hey, it's not a weapon switchy thing. It's a med kit. In retrospect, probably could have waited on that one. I'm saying retrospect way too much again, as always. <laughs> uh, oh wait, hey, it's boss time. Waspinator, it's Rogue Continuum. Let's switch to our shields. Recharge for the time being. Actually, it's missile time. Lasers. Might as well just use all of our all of our shit constantly. Weapon recharge. Okay, time to just run away like a yutz. I guess this actually works fairly well for me. Just charge him, throw on shields, and just blitz him with shots. Oh, he's like summoning dudes at me. Makes it a lot easier when I'm just like gunning his face in. Okay. Yeah, my shields are fine. I don't think he's cutting through them. I'll back up just a bit anyway. Because we got missile barrage! Oh, he's going down. It's a lot easier once I've like leveled up a little bit. Unfortunately, I want to say the next level is going to murder me. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's go back for those gloves. an extra 5% damage really isn't that much, but stacking more of them, that's where the damage is. I got three laser drones. I need more. More drones. Non-stop drones. Still no military boots. That, that bit floors me. Okay, so we are... How many, how many gloves do I have? Seven, so... 35% damage bonus. Nice. I guess I should consider putting more points into uh, base damage when it comes to, um, you know, more points into base damage considering I do boost that up. I just prefer the weapon spooling thing so I never run out of shots, so I never have to back off. That's an interesting question. Is uptime better than uh, flat damage, or is it better to have flat damage and just back off for uptime? I guess uptime gives me chance for chances for my uh, less uptime means more time to let my shields recharge by backing off. So that might actually be something to consider. I don't know. But yeah, considering how much I sh I shoot, yeah, no, that that flat damage actually makes much more sense now that I think about it. Okay, let's switch over to shields recharge. These guys are the worst. I'm almost dead already. Oh god, I'm gonna just hide in the woods. Not even shooting at things. I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna let my drones shoot at shit. I didn't even see him. 
One sniper shot takes out 90% of my health. And not a good feeling. I'm just gonna, just gonna, I do not move fast enough. <laughs> Ow. How many levels do I gain? Probably only like two or three. If I'm lucky, four. Nope. Well, I got a, got a number. I think I went from what, seven to ten? That is, a rough, that is a rough mission to not have any any military boots on. So first and foremost, hero stats. Uh, let's do this. Now, let's revert. Oh! I'm locked in, so I can't I can't reduce these. Okay, toughness is useless. Putting points into this. I, I forget, every every point put in doubles it even further. Let's put it into damage, because that's that's going to be increased pretty heavily. By um That's gonna be increased heavily by by like triple shot. And stuff like that. Okay, so what's this? Quick charge. Overdrives its power supply, replenishing all of its weapon and shield energy. Good to know. What's the last one? Defensive orbs activate and circle around Destructobot, destroying everything they hit. Cool. Let's, uh... What if I just save these? I'm gonna save my ability points. I wanna see if I can use them. On, um... I wanna see if I can use them on... On, uh, if I can use them on the level 12 ability, because maxing that out would be really handy. Let's see. I wonder if there's a maximum on the amount of points I can put into a gun. Don't know. This is the other reason why I wasn't putting points into flat damage. The upgrade kits do it for me. So we're getting the... We're on our way to getting a flamethrower. But that'll be later. And now I have hiccups. That is uncomfortable. Okay, well that was a good run. I will see you guys in the next episode of Rogue Continuum. And as always, thanks for watching.